Okay, cool. So, can I start? Yeah, okay, So, I did my cultural artifact on Walt Disney. Um, so, so, how many of you guys know who Walt Disney is? Everyone, that's cool. So, what do all of you guys think of when you think of like Walt Disney? Like, what are some of the things that you would like come to your mind? Disneyland. You have some like yellow. My childhood. Yeah. Disneyland. Yeah. Okay. So take all of the things that remind you of Walt Disney and imagine you're a little child seeing these things all again for the first time. Maybe it's in a, a movie or a TV show. It most likely brought a smile to your face or brought memories of your childhood, right? So that's like this Walt Disney like goal in life is that he wanted to bring the child out of everyone and that he wanted you to never grow up and that he always wanted to make it a point to always see the good in the bad and always like strive for greatness and never stop like doing what you believe in so this is why i believe disney has impacted so many people of all ages worldwide um his work whether it be in short disney tunes films or many or like the many ginormous Disneyland and Disney worlds that we've all visited. So who was Walt Disney? So Walt Disney was an American motion picture, television producer, and a well, as well as a pioneer cartoon film and the creator of Disneyland. His work is known worldwide, and if you don't know who he is, are you even human? <laughs> Um, I mean, face it, everywhere we look is Disney. Like, from movies that we see to the clothing that some of our brothers and sisters wear. It's him. Um, so Walt Disney was born on December 5th, 1901 in Hermosa, Illinois. I mean, yeah, Illinois, Chicago. Um, he, he and his brother co-founded Walt Disney Productions. And they, and they became one of the best known motion picture production companies in the world. Um, Disney was an innovator, animator, and creator of cartoon char characters such as Mickey Mouse and many more after that. Um, Walt Disney's first cartoon, um, in 1919, Disney moved to Kansas City to pursue a career as a newspaper artist. He landed a job at the Pedman Rubin Art Studio, where he met a cartoonist, U.B. Iwerk. I think that's how you say his name. Um, from there, Disney worked at Kansas City Film Ad Company, where he made commercials based on cutout animation. And from there, him and his brother, Roy, they did a series of seven-minute fairy tales that combined both live action live acting and animation called Alice in Cartoon Land. So these are like a little bit bits and pieces of like what Alice in Cartoon Land. It was like the very first like little like seven minute shows about like, I, you guys have all seen like the Disney tunes, like little clips. Um, but in 1923, the studio became um, burdened with debt and Disney was forced to file bankruptcy. Burnham and his brother stopped making the Alice in Cartoon Land and they just kind of had to like start fresh again because like the cartoons weren't making him enough money that they were taking to make them. So like he kind of just had to like start from the bottom again but still use everything that he put into um, Alice in Cartoon Land to make it bigger. So from there, he, him and his brother worked for about a couple of years and they tried to develop more and more and make more money. And so Disney, Disney and his brother soon pulled their money together and moved to Hollywood where they began the Disney Brothers Studios making short animated cartoons. Um, right away, the Disney Brothers and their wives produced three cartoons <coughs> featuring new characters. Walt had been de developing the character Mickey Mouse and he was the first animated short film. And this was the first animated short film where Mickey was featured. Um, also, Mickey Mouse's voice is actually Walt Disney's voice as well. And so from there, the cartoon was an instant sensation. And later, Mickey, 
making space for kids to think of Walt Disney and Disney itself. Like most people think of Mickey Mouse when they think of Walt Disney. Um, and then from there, as Mickey became more and more popular, in 1929, um, the Silly Symphonies came out, and um, which featured Mickey and then his recreated friends, which were like Donald Duck and Minnie Mouse and Goofy and Pluto. So that's how like you see like Disney House, Clubhouse, like all that stuff like come bigger and bigger. Um, after he like became more and more into making films and just like really expanding his horizon horizons when it came to doing films like Snow White and Fantasia and Pocahontas, like all of the Disney movies you see, like all the princesses. After those soon took like a really big toll, he opened up Disneyland, which opened um, in July of 17, 1995 in Anaheim, California. And so there it was just like a really big thing. And then this is Walt Disney when he died, or not when he died, but like this is his death. He died on December 15, 1996 at the age of 65. He um, got diagnosed with lung, ca lung cancer in the middle of him building Disneyland. And so he, he's buried um, in Los Angeles, and this is his tombstone, he was cremated. And so that's Disney.